Klein and I am a ceramic artist. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my artwork, my process, and inspirations. Um, so I've always worked um, with art and all different mediums. I did a lot of fiber work and photography, but when I got to college at Wayne State, I just absolutely fell in love with ceramics and the process and the people involved. Um, I also really enjoy the tactile nature of it. So um, a lot of my inspiration comes from nature. I really enjoy the rhythms and patterns um, of things in nature, and I try to mimic that in my work. So um, as I'm working on things, I really try to enjoy the process. It doesn't always turn out exactly how I want it to, but that's okay as long as I'm um, enjoying the process, learning from it, um, and growing as an artist. So um, I have a few pieces here. Um, I really like to use some earthy colors. Um, I use a terracotta clay, and um, a lot of these pieces are utilitarian, so you can use them in your kitchen for serving. And um, everyone's favorite piece of ceramic work, which is um, mugs. So mugs actually take a lot of work to make, and I take a lot of pride in making a nice mug that you want to use every day. And um, handles have also been a journey for me, so I really take pride in that. Um, a few other things with my work is I love to use texture, so I'm always exploring what um, things I can use to create texture. So I have a few examples here. I'll use um, walnuts or pine cones or any type of, maybe I find seed pods or I'm inspired by a flower or just a certain texture. So I do like to use those things in my work. And I also um, kind of leave a lot of uh, the glazing part to chance. So I kind of know what I want but I think it's really exciting to put something into the kiln and not know exactly what it's gonna look like. Um, that's a really exciting part for me. Um, I also like to make things look organic, so maybe I'll throw a cup on the pottery wheel and then have some smoosh in some spots or um, just kind of move the clay in a certain way. Um, and it's a lot of it is just how I'm feeling that day. Um, I also have a few pieces that have some crawfish legs in it. So um, this is a series I did um, for a while and just would go find crawfish um, um, little claws and push them into the clay. It kind of reminds me of childhood and things that I really enjoyed um, exploring in nature. Well, um, I do teach ceramics at the Anton Art Center. I've been teaching within the medium for about 10 years and five years at the Anton Art Center. And I teach adults and children and then combine classes where it's adult and child. And I have kids classes where the kids can hand build. So pinch pots and coil pots and slab and then they can also learn how to throw on the pottery wheel. So we do those things and then in the adult classes, um, people pretty much work on whatever they're interested in. So if they're interested in going on the wheels, we do that. Um, it, it's really just a space where people can be creative and um, it's a camaraderie between everyone in class. So even if you come in for class and you really don't feel like working with clay, but you want to be around people who are creative, you can do that. Maybe you just come in and sketch one night. Um, it's kind of whatever you need for that day. Um, yeah, and you make everything, you know, starting with just a lump of clay and then um, you see it through to the end. So you have just, you know, a, a chunk of clay and then make something and then fire it twice and then you end up coming out with maybe it's some type of bowl or plate or tray, um, maybe it's an animal sculpture, um, it could be tiles, so it's whatever path that you want to go on. I really like to encourage people to explore um, the medium how they want.